movie stars giving blockbuster. Mm. Hey guys, it's Andrea here. Um, didn't know this video would be starting so soon, I guess. I should have known because I knew that I had to get COVID tested. But basically, I got picked for for like featured background for this feature film that's shooting here in Atlanta. Um, they needed prep school girls. So my headshot looks like a prep school girl. Yeah, because when I get myself done, I look like a prep school girl. But obviously I don't look like one. I'm very much bummed out because I didn't know I'd have to go to the production company office today. They said that I need to get tested, COVID tested. So I literally booked a COVID appointment at the uh, neighborhood CVS. And then they send me an email saying, office is open from this time to this time. Come to the office and get your COVID test. So I'm showing up to the production company looking like this. Hopefully they do not I just got like an email from one of my teachers. Hopefully they, they do not like release me from this contract or whatever, because whatever, I don't look like a prep school girl. All right, it's currently about to film another self tape, but I have not updated y'all. It is currently 11.30, auditioning for a role called a waitress. It's supposed to be a waitress. This is the fit. Can't even see the fit because I'm not really wearing pants right now. Earlier, y'all saw me at the production company studios or whatever, the production studio, and I got uh, tested, had to go in. Was not expecting to go in because they didn't say I had to until the day of. So I went in, got tested looking like a bum, came back, actually saw my friend LaShonda. She works for some testing company that tests uh, production companies and just like sets and stuff. It was pretty cool and pretty weird seeing her there. I was like not expecting it. I walked into the building though and I saw like this huge room full of like the outfit wardrobe room. And I was just like, this is so cool but it was really fun. I have a fitting tomorrow. I have to send in the pictures just now with my sizes. I'll insert the pictures here. There was a point in time where I was not allowed to like go on set and stuff because, or I was, it was just harder for me to book things because of my size. And, and now I'm getting to a size where it's like, yeah, just come in. You don't even need to be fitted. You know, we guarantee we have sizes for you. So love that for us. All right, hi guys. Um, I'm on my way. I feel like this the lens are blurry, low key. Y'all will not believe the morning I've had. It is currently 12 o'clock. My fitting is supposed to be at two. I'm hoping to get there at like 12.45 because it is in Atlanta. I'm hoping to get there early and they'll take me early because I found out that I had a meeting at three. So I called them asking if I could come in early and they haven't replied yet. I'm hoping that if I still show up early, they'll take me early or me maybe even earlier than what they were intending. It, this just goes to show that acting, like it's it's not saying it's a full time job, but oftentimes it is, especially if you're you're a series regular or just like the lead. at the next light, turn left. But it's not a full time job if you're not those things. But it is it does require full time availability. And that's why it's so difficult to be an actor because you can't live unless you have money. And oftentimes, acting does not bring you money, like, at all. So I have to work, but I still want to act. But I can't be available to acting all the time because acting's not bringing in a lot of money. So it's just hard. Very nervous. I don't know why. They told us to have nude undergarments. They don't have any nude undergarments, so I brought black. I. It's, it's it's not going too well and then they told Turn us left. to bring black shoes um i brought three pairs of black shoes they said like flats mary janes maybe even bands are fine i brought three pairs i bought my doc martens my flats and my vans and you know because prep school or whatever so as soon as i arrived at the production office they had me fill out a bunch of forms tax documents to be exact it's important to know your tax information and your status and all that so that you can actually correctly fill out stuff because you don't want to you know reduce your pay just give them the correct 
information so they know how to pay you basically and then afterwards filled it out and they sent me to to wardrobe and it was just a huge huge room with all like the extra wardrobe and then they had rows of tents for people to dress in number 127 so i guess that's the 127th outfit that they had to style and they gave me multiple choices for my prep school like vests and things like that so after the fitting and wardrobe i waited a couple days for my call sheet and they gave it to me for 8 a.m and we finally started our first day of filming here i am at base camp and base camp is just an area where all the trailers are and where we meet the wardrobe and makeup department and here i am actually trying my stuff on i was so excited y'all look how happy i am <laughs> this is so cute oh my gosh i thought i was doing something here <laughs> my keep in mind that this is like early october and for some reason it was freezing at this time it's not freezing right now in october 2022 but it was freezing october 2021 it's about 40 degrees outside and I'm changing in a tent outside, putting on schoolgirl outfits that are like short skirts, but we moved nonetheless. And then they sent me to a holding area where all the extras were. I don't have any footage from that, I don't think. Okay, so right now I just got fitted, or no, I already got fitted. I could just put on my costume because I just walked from the trailers. I didn't have a trailer, but I just walked from the trailers because they had the tents over there. I'm going now to hair and makeup. They told us to come makeup and hair ready, but I, so I did. This place is really beautiful though. This beats school. <laughs> Don't tell my mom though. All right, now I'm going to the extras holding center. That's where the hair and makeup And then is. my hair and makeup was actually touched up by the hair and makeup department inside, which was great. They had us with crafties and after crafties we were sent to the actual filming location by bus and this was such a cool experience i felt like you know i felt like big girl on campus i don't know <laughs> the bus was so cool The view of everything though was amazing. I mean, we were just in the heart of Atlanta filming and going around the city trying to get stuff done. We arrived at this old wooden house that was staged. Was it a house? I can't even remember if it was a house or not, but it was huge. It looked almost like a churchy house, I guess. Um, they staged it to look like uh, a prep school. They set up desks and stuff and we had our scene there. And we spent a good amount of time here, like a good amount of time. I think I think I didn't get off until six o'clock. So I got there at eight. We didn't start shooting until we passed noon. We had a lot of downtime. So I was really, really interacting with the other girls who were prep school girls and they're of course around my age so we had a lot in common they were really really sweet we all still follow each other on instagram to this day and i just had a great time this day i don't know it was just you know cute vibes and stuff <laughs> i love doing background for student work to play a student that's just my favorite type of background to do hi good morning you guys cannot see me it's literally 6 30 in the morning and i am late to set this place is 50 minutes away and it's currently 6 30 and i just now left i'm supposed to be there by 7. didn't get a chance to do my hair do my makeup nothing um hopefully they will still do what they did last time and do everyone's hair and makeup anyways because they kind of took off my makeup. Yeah, so my call time was at 7 a.m. I didn't get there until about 7.20, <laughs> carrying literally all my hair and makeup supplies that I had, and the bus didn't leave until 7.30, so that was pretty good. I did my hair on the bus while we drove to the location, which was about 20 minutes away from base camp. I went through hair and makeup, 
didn't really go through them. They didn't do too much. Okay, the light is over here. Got some coffee. Sony Picture Studios. That's what the trailers are saying. Oh my gosh. I'm on a real set, bro. Got coffee, got breakfast. Now I'm just waiting to be called on set. Well, I actually have to walk to set because I kind of walked away to go get some food. I think we actually shot um, everything in downtown Conyers, which was pretty cool. We shot at the Conyers courthouse. It was a court scene that we were shooting. So if you're from Conyers or if you're from Georgia and you recognize this scene, then congratulations. Tell me why I'm in line to use the bathroom and it's a portable bathroom. And look, look at this guy. Look at this. Looks so nice. It was a really, really good experience. There was only one scene that we were shooting, but it was such an ensemble filled scene. It was about like 300 of us in the courthouse. And the scene itself was probably like two minutes long, but it took us nine hours this day. It was the coolest experience though, because we had people like Javier, um, I forgot his last name, but he, um, he just got cast as the king in The Little Mermaid with Halle Bailey and I was pretty starstruck he's in this movie and he was really really talking to the extras and he was so interactive with us and he's like the coolest guy and it was so great to actually see him come alive. He did that scene about 90 times if I'm being for real. It's been a while since you guys last saw me. I am rushing right now because I have to be somewhere in about like a couple minutes. Like not a couple minutes, but I have to leave in like five minutes and I still haven't done my hair or makeup. But I probably look so much different from the last time you guys saw me. It has been a year since that last clip, whatever it is. Actually, it's been a year to that day. Today is October 7th. I filmed i think my first day of filming for la la crocodile i'm like rubbing this in but my first day of filming for la la crocodile was october 7th too i only did like three days for real of the scenes that you're all are about to see i don't think i can y'all will be able to see me in any other scenes i was just there to fill things up right now i'm getting ready because i'm going to meet some girls today the girls that i did the la la crocodile scenes with um we're all going out to go watch the movie and to go see if we can even see <laughs> ourselves in the movie because that's like that's always a risk when it comes to background like if you will be able to see yourself or not most of the times it's a no but i mean it's the experience that you're doing it for not to be seen but being seen is a plus you don't expect you should never expect to be seen like when you do background work but one of the scenes that i was in where um the court scene i was sitting behind constance who like pretty much directly behind her so i'm kind of confident you know i'll be seen in that scene but besides that andrea i don't have time to go look for my beauty blender it's downstairs and look i'm gonna have a crooked nose i'm like what are we doing what are we doing i don't know why don't gas stations carry lip gloss why do I have to go all the way to a beauty supply store to get lip gloss, clear lip gloss? But that's what pisses me off because no one has time to stop out of their day to go to a beauty supply store. And that's why when you go to the beauty supply store, you should always buy like five lip glosses at a time. Yeah, my nose is crooked now. I'm going to get there and then I'm going to be like, where are you guys? And they're going to be right in front of me, but I won't be able to recognize them. And they won't recognize me because I look completely different. Like, y'all saw wig me. Y'all didn't see signature natural Lista Andrea me. You know what I mean? But that is the beauty of this industry. As an actor, why can't you shapeshift? Why can't you shapeshift? That is the true question. One thing black girls are gonna do is line their lips with eyebrow pencil. Y'all see how I just went from doop to doop? That's crazy. There it is. Did you call? I just... Oh my god! 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 O
president. Look at me, look at me. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. 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 You guys, I got some good footage out of this movie. Like, I'm low-key in it. I don't know. I don't know. It's giving, it's giving movie star. It's giving blockbuster movie star. Okay. I really did see my face. Like, that's so crazy for, like, like a genuine peak scene. But I didn't see myself in another scene, which was expected. I knew I was just walking, and there's a chance that they won't even catch me walking. They didn't catch me walking, which is fine. Then the scene came up where I was behind Costance Wu and I was spotted everywhere. It was redemption. And that's what everybody else was saying too. They redeemed you and Jerry because I wasn't in the classroom scene with them. I was in the hallway because they didn't have any more desks for a couple of the girls, like six of us. So what they did was they just made us walk in the hallway while the teacher was on the phone. So while he was on the phone, we were outside walking, just creating like the atmosphere and they didn't really get that which is okay I mean I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna be sad that you guys didn't get me walking but the facial expressions that I gave for the courthouse scene was there and it was immaculate and it was cool seeing everyone just reminding me how cool actors are my age like I love I love seeing everyone I love seeing new people being in the space of other actors and I'm just happy it was a good movie. If you guys are interested, go ahead and go watch that movie um, to go see your girl at the courthouse scene. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you all. And go out and be creative and meet new people and do things that you never thought you could do. And all that jazz. Okay, we're not gonna do this now. Bye guys.